Here's today's daily shout outs. Congratulations, guys. If you guys want a chance to win a shout out on my next video, just leave a nice comment down below. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button and drop a like. And check out listingnoel.com for the merch. So the other day, I decided to go to the thrift store. I originally went there to get some more decorations for my bedroom, which I'm still currently working on finishing and decorating fully, which I'm excited to show you guys soon. But I got a little carried away after getting some decorations in the store. By the way, this thrift store was so amazing. I had never been there before, but I was watching walking around looking at all the cool items which I'm gonna show you guys here because it was a really cool store what the heck are these this thrift store is crazy oh my gosh like are these statues or what I don't even know what these guys are and then there's a bunny there's so much old stuff oh my gosh he's kind of cute but kind of not Oh my gosh, this room here has everything of my aesthetic. It's so cute. I have to get something here. I found the cutest decor for my room. Oh my gosh, this carousel horse is everything. Look at her shine. Everything in this section is so cute, guys. I had to refrain myself from buying literally all of these. But I told myself just one thing from this section. I'm gonna get this horse. It's really cute. I would have got that though, but my room is too small. <laughs> And the mirror. I already have a mirror, sadly. And after getting carried away and getting some super cute room decor, which I have in my room right now, I eventually came across a doll. There's so much cool stuff. Oh my gosh, is this Rapunzel? That I looked at at the time, and like, I don't like dolls. I just want to put that out there. Like, I actually hate dolls a lot, so I don't know why, but this specific doll just something about it when I looked at it I just like knew that I needed to buy it I don't really know how to explain that but it's like when you see something in the store and you look at it and you're like I need that that was me and this doll there's so much cool stuff oh my gosh is this Rapunzel it looks just like Rapunzel she's so pretty oh my gosh it kind of looks like me actually I think I'm gonna get this oh it's cute why would you want that because it looks like me. Like, uh, it's I only $15. So. What? Oh, she's kind of strange looking. It looks cute. <gasps> Dude, she has wings that? in my room. You want that in your room? Yeah, it's cute. Look, it, it has a stand and everything. I don't really know why I decided I needed it, but I needed it and I didn't know why. Anyways, I bought the doll. <gasps> yes. Oh, wait, if she moves, she can walk. <gasps> Oh my gosh, and she's glass. And she has eyelashes like me. Look how gorgeous she is. We look like twins. I'm gonna get this doll, guys. It's so cute. And I actually kind of regretted it instantly <laughs> because once I brought her into the car, I had found a dead bug in her hair. She's about to go home with us. Yay, we got her in the bag right now. And this was the store we went to, guys, by the way. It's on Felix Valdez. It's called Granny's Antiques. Oh my gosh, no, no. I just realized something. <gasps> Ew, there's a beetle in her hair. And she has a broken crown. Oh, that is so gross, guys. I'm panicking. Ew, ew, ew. And I just bought her. I might regret buying this doll now just because I found a beetle in her hair and I did not place this here. Oh, ew, ah, ew. I'm literally panicking. When I was carrying that, oh my gosh, no. I had to, oh, oh. And that just completely utterly disgusted me. I just got Starbucks with my doll! Ah! Oh my gosh, I think she still has beetle bits in her, but Rose and me are having our first bonding moments. I got a lemonade with coconut milk and vanilla. It's super good. Rose, what do you think? Mm. Bonding time together with my doll. It's pretty nice. I, I like Rose. Um. Anyways, moving along. I decided, eh, it's not a big deal. I can clean the beetle out. Um. It's still a very lovely doll, and for some reason, I still wanted it for my room. What's the problem? It's just a doll. What? That was weird. I've never heard you make that sound before. What? It's just a doll. Man, she really doesn't like it. Even Trixie, I know she's not feeling well right now. She's resting in her cage, but she doesn't seem to like it either. Um, I didn't think too much of it until last night when I was sleeping. The doll tipped over in the middle of the night and so I moved it onto the floor of my room because I have these cubby holes. I'll actually show you guys that in a second. And I put all my stuff there. I had her in the cubby hole. I don't think there was an earthquake because nothing else fell. The doll tipped over 
unless it was her stand because she does have a stand which i'm going to show you guys so this is her um she is a fairy doll and the funniest thing about this doll was i actually looked on the back of her and i found the name of like the person who made her but it said she was a limited edition release and she was like a fairy doll which means she's pretty rare and this might be the only one of her but what's super uncomfortable is right now i'm actually getting goosebumps i don't know if you guys can see this but my arm hairs are up on my arm every time i touch this doll I get goosebumps all across my body and I don't know why because she's a lovely looking doll like I still like her a lot I just didn't like that she had a bug in her hair and that she fell last night and I'm still seeing stuff in her hair right now ew yeah she has like leaves and stuff in her hair um <laughs> but yeah she she looks normal to me honestly guys I don't feel like I have a problem it's just weird that I get goosebumps maybe it's because I hate bugs and I keep thinking about that maybe it's the material of her dress that's giving me like the chills she has a huge cape I don't know if you guys can see that look at that she looks like a little witch from the back Woo! <laughs> um and she's holding a pair of ballet slippers for some reason I don't know why because I think she's supposed to be a fairy so I don't really know maybe she's a dancing fairy I can't really assume um and she had a crown that actually broke off and she's on a leaf kind of like base that's where probably she fell overnight I don't know but I still find it kind of strange that I was so lured into buying this doll randomly and that she fell last night after just being in my room for one night so today guys I'm staying up right now at 3 a.m. and I'm going to see if my doll Rose is haunted. Sorry Rose, I don't mean to do you like this, but you are kind of suspicious now and I don't know what to think. <laughs> but we're gonna do some tests to see if my doll is actually haunted. I think she's cute, so I don't really know how she could be. Maybe it was just bad luck, but we're gonna do some tests to find out and I'm so scared. So one really scary thing we can do to connect with spirits, which I don't recommend doing, so do not do this guys, is I heard about this rumor. I actually don't know if this is real or fake, just wanna put that out there. It's called Necrophonic necrophonic i don't really know how to pronounce it but this is the app right here i'll put the picture on the screen i already don't like the icon because i think that star has a bad symbol of something um i don't really know i don't want to know but maybe it does we're gonna read the reviews on this app and see if it's really real for spirit communication someone says yes it's legit I've had this app for well over a year. I have been a Claritin since childhood. This app has helped me feel, which Claritin's question quite often, like I am not crazy. This one says life is beautiful, death is pure. I work as a removal technician for a funeral home in Seattle, Washington. Now that is actually a scary, terrifying job. I am a ghost hunting fanatic. I have been using this since I was a little girl. I frequently use the app to connect. It works honestly. It's accurate to the bones. Ooh, I don't like that. I really don't know if I should use this app, guys. The voices you hear are from the dead. No, thank you. I didn't really sign up for that today, but a few moments later Okay, so we're opening the app right now. It's made with unity and it has a creepy intro Ew, I didn't like that. I have a feeling it's fake guys, so I'm not I'm not too concerned But we're gonna click start and see if it says anything on its own because I don't really want to talk to anything I heard a voice say hi. There was like a little girl saying hi. I got the chills. I wonder if they came from Rose. I feel like something just touched my thigh. I thought it said welcome. Like a whisper of welcome. I have goosebumps all over my body like really bad. Look at that. Ew. I think my doll's haunted. I'm not even saying anything. I heard it is. I heard it is! It whispered it is! I heard another it is. And another one saying it is. That it's haunted. Did you hear that whisper from mom? I do have another way to test if our doll might be haunted, which is a lot less scary than the app, and that's these spirit rods. So basically how these work is, well, they're called dowsing rods or downing rods. I forgot the name. But they were used for finding, I think, water a long, long time ago. But some people do believe, by conspiracy, that these rods can be used for communication with spirits and that the spirits can make these rods move and cross for yes and open wide for no. Anyways, we're going to ask her some questions while she's back there. If she falls over, I'm going to literally lose it. Okay, so we're going to put the rods up. 
and ask, Rose, if you're here, can you cross the rock? Oh, I don't like this already. Okay, so she's here. Ha ha. Ew, I got chills across my whole body. Rose, are you haunted? If yes, please cross the... I'm not moving these at all. Oh, I don't like this. Okay, um, so she's clearly haunted. Um, we're gonna try to respect her and be nice about this. Um, Rose, are you upset that your old owners gave you away? Yes. Okay. Can you please uncross the rods? That was fast. Um, are you upset that your tiara broke on your costume? Okay, yes, she is. Okay, thank you. Can you please uncross the rods again? Wow, that's very active. Okay. Did you fall over in my closet by yourself last night? Yes. Wow, okay. Um, sorry about that. Um, I'm literally shaking right now. I'm so scared. Okay, um, do you miss your old owner? Yes. Wow, that's kind of sad. It kind of reminds me of like Toy Story when you have a toy that like really matters a lot to you as a kid and then like you get dropped off at like a garage sale and like your owner like resells you. Rose, are you happy that I own you now? Yes! Okay, well that's good. I'm glad. Um, what else? Man, I don't know what else to ask. Rose, do you think we look alike? Because I do. Oh, she said yes. Rose, are you a child or an adult? An adult? Wow, they opened up so wide. They're pushing so hard. Ew, I'm getting the tingles across my whole body. But honestly, I feel like a really heavy energy, guys. I just feel weird about this, and I usually don't. That was like a really heavy like push when I asked if you're an adult, and it just went up so heavily. And I haven't had the rods do that before. But if this video gets 20,000 likes, guys, I will do more videos about Rose, my potentially haunted doll. And I will see if she has more things to say to us. I'll probably try it outside at 3 a.m. Because I don't know about the room. And now I'm scared because Rose fell over in my closet last night, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like. Be sure to subscribe and to join the family today. We are really close to a million subscribers. So you guys don't want to miss out on my upcoming videos. Thank you guys all so much for watching today's video. It's been Lissy and my potentially haunted doll, Rose. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys! So that was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit the subscribe button, be sure to drop a like, and be sure to leave a comment down below. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Ooh, look at this doll. Now that's a lot scarier than the doll I got, honestly. And she's on sale. <gasps> Oh, it's a Raggedy Ann doll, and it's only $3. This one's actually really scary. Oh my gosh, there's a whole pile of them. <gasps> no way. Look at all of them, guys. I don't know if I should get a Raggedy Ann doll. Like, there's just honestly so many, and I don't know if you guys have heard of Annabelle, but she was a Raggedy Ann doll. I don't know, guys. And, ooh, there's some really scary dolls back there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's so dark. Oh my gosh, what is that? Yo, he is so scary. Oh my gosh. Oh, and that doll is so scary too. Comment down below, guys, if I should buy any of these other dolls. This one's actually really creepy out. You're not gonna buy that guy. Why? Ooh. Ooh. It's a monkey man. I mean, he's kind of cute. Mom, can we get him too? You're spending too much. Oh, bye, Mr. Monkey Man. I love you. Whoa, that's a big lion. Or I think it's a lion. Yeah, it's a lion mount for six thousand dollars. Poor lion. This place is seriously like the biggest antique store that I've ever been to in my life. It literally is like over a hundred stores of things, guys. It's pretty crazy. It's a lot of stuff in here.